Armies win battles, logistics win wars. While at the strategic level Russian logistics are simple and straightforward it relies primarily on railroad connections but at the operational level, because of the heavy and protracted war, enemy logistics have taken on a unique shape unlike anything else. Ukraine's use of high precision and long-range weapons and the backward state of Russian army logistics have resulted in the main warehouses to which supplies are delivered being moved 100 or more kilometers from the front line. The constant fear of a high-precision ammunition strike forces the use of any means of supply to the maximum extent possible to be decentralized. One must remember that the main enemy of any logistician is distance. After the shipment of equipment and ammunition, they are driven to the very line of contact in anything that rides and can lift any amount of cargo. This can be both army trucks and civilian cars down to scooters, motor blocks and even wheelbarrows. All of this is usually taken from the local population. Usually cargo is carried no closer than 2 kilometers from the front line. If there are rivers in the area, boats and even homemade rafts are used. Already directly to the trenches and positions the cargo is dragged by soldiers on their backs to the very front line. Ukrainian defenders have already managed to call them donkeys. Donkey rushes to the front lines with a backpack full of ammunition, medical supplies, spare parts, or other cargo. This practice of widespread use of porters has been documented in the Bakhmut, Swataway and Kremina directions. As you can imagine, such couriers will not be able to supply the enemy's armored vehicles with ammunition. For a reason, some of the only places where we see the enemy using large tank and mechanized formations since the beginning of this year are Avajivka and Vuglida. They have the ability to refuel and resupply in Donetsk. But the farther the enemy units are from such logistics centers, the more helpless they are. One reason for the enemy's limited and localized successes in the Bakhmut direction is the constant dilemma before Ukrainian commanders whether to use high-precision ammunition for each donkey loan. If a decision is made to save ammunition, drop by drop such a system allows one to saturate a particular area at the tactical level. Of the hundreds of donkeys scattering and moving in groups or singles, even if some of them are hit, another part will reach the line of contact and saturate the units with ammunition. In summary, such a system allows to saturate the front during positional warfare, when it is necessary to constantly feed infantry formations and when the enemy does not undertake major offensive operations. During the mobile phase, the maneuvering and movement of enemy forces, and during a breakout, such a system is inadequate and cannot sustain units on a dynamically changing battlefield. Such a primitive system cannot supply large armored, artillery, and mechanized units, which must rely on echelons of trucks, fuel trucks, and other means and measures of modern combined arms combat, and deep maneuver operations. Therefore I will repeat once again, war is always won by logistics.